Carly. Carly. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. All that I have. Tell her. I honor you. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, We're getting there. I honor you. Thanks. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I want a snowfall kind of love, kind of love that quiets the world. I want a snowfall kind of love Cause I'm a snowfall kind of girl It is magical here. The snowfall came so heavy and fast. To cut the trail, we used four up, which is four of these guys on a, on the sleigh to cut the trail. First great snow in 10 years. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming. We are so happy to have all of our favorite people here with us tonight. Looking across the room and just seeing everybody that we love all in one place is so happy. We're so excited. It's the Grunmans meet the Middlecoffs. It's Germany all the time. I'm Sally Middlecoff, the mother of the bride. I'm here to welcome all of you. You guys spent an awful lot of money and an awful lot of time, and we're gonna have a good time. I'm on the group text, it's like, where are you? We're gonna be waiting at the roundhouse. And they're all, we're so excited. Sun Valley is special to us because we would come up here to go hiking and skiing and just kind of get away. There's way more people than I thought there was up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so happy. The beauty of the place, dogs can run free. When we came up here for the first time, we just loved it. So beautiful. Where are we going, Alex? Oh, to the left? This is steep! I'm scared! That's his one thing, he wanted to go swimming on his wedding day. I wonder if he can see us. They're getting their photo shoot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We started coming up almost every weekend. And right behind us is parents where we got engaged. He's like, I want to go up to Sun Valley for your birthday. I'm gonna plan everything, which was really, Alex doesn't usually take the bull by the horns and plan stuff. And I was like, okay. And he's like, I'm gonna have your family come up. And I'm like, oh, that'll be fun. All the family will be there. And the sun was setting. It was the day before my birthday. And I look up and he's on one knee. I started crying. I'm like, is this real? Is this, this isn't real. He's like, Carly, it's real. I'm like, no, this isn't real life. <laughs> and he has this ring and he's like, Carly, it's real. And I'm like, oh yeah. He's like, give me an answer. I'm like, yes. Alex. <laughs> you look so good. You are so handsome. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at your legs. Nice hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. Carly, I cannot believe this day has finally come. Being with you feels so effortless because we both complement each other so well. It's almost like whatever our souls are made of, it's the same thing. Cut from the same cloth, we just get each other and I love that. I love that you have so much love and compassion for others, especially the furry beings. I love that you have a love and passion for animals as much as I do. It takes a lot of love <laughs> to pull over and chase us straight down the road. And we do that a lot. Look at my little girl. How are you? Ooh, here it is. I remember when I was eight years old and we went to go see Father of the Bride at the Cineplex Odeon in Holiday. Remember? It was like the first time I ever saw you cry, like, you're never getting married. I 
was hard. I remember it. Now it's real life. I know. Oh, you're beautiful. I know that one day when we have real human children, you will be a fantastic mother. I love what a wonderful dog dad you are. It makes me see what a wonderful human dad you'll be one day. This is like the exact same thing that I wrote. I'm excited to be marrying my favorite person in our favorite place. So my comments at marriages are always brief and I'm especially glad for that today, not only for your health and safety, but the bridesmaids. Oh, They're sorry. beginning to turn blue. I'd like you to turn towards each other. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Alex. I, Alex. Take you, Carly. Take you, Carly. To be my wife. Be my wife. I, Carly. Take you, Alex. Take you, Alex. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. Have and to hold. <laughs> From this day forward. <laughs> Okay. For this day forward. Let's say forward. <laughs> for better, for worse. For better, or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. It's my solemn vow. You may kiss the bride or give her a warm hug, whichever you choose. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do both. <laughs> I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Alexander Grundman. Welcome back. It's so good to have you home. Welcome back. You've been gone so long. Shaking up the world. Making some noise and singing your song. I've had the privilege of knowing Alex Grundman for almost two decades now. Carly's the kind of friend who has always been there for me. I was immediately drawn to this very loud, fun, and silly girl who had the ability to make anyone feel like they were the most important person in her world. Welcome back to where you belong. And immediately I knew that this was an ideal match for Alex because she's got this great bubbly, effervescent, outgoing personality. You know, I've never seen someone that can actually bring Alex out of his shell quite like Carly. Over these past 14 years, I've watched many boys pine for Carly's heart. But none of them made her sing with rapture or dance like a dervish until she met Alex. She'll finally be back home. Welcome home. Oh.